Hello viewers and welcome to the second of our 46 videos from Gamescom 2015. Now looking at the new edition, wet weather driving. Here you see us at Brands Hatch, a circuit I know well and enjoy a great deal going into Turn 1 and it's a journey into the unknown. There is a braking line but I'm not really using that myself, I tend to use much more visual braking and going around avoiding that big puddle on the inside. Now I know this circuit very well and same time I am being very tentative this is a much slower car than the one I was in a few moments ago racing around Rio so I was aware that I just had to be tentative so encountering puddles for the first time I was lifting as I went through the puddles just to stabilize the car and then getting on the power about doing a clean run but also hitting a few puddles here and there and just getting a feeling on how they affect the car and they, they really are quite significant to learn how to approach some of these. We go around this long corner up the hill now on the power into the fast right hander. So going up on the inside and I just hit a puddle there and you can see the car completely loses control. And uh, again it gets a bit of speed there. I don't know if I got a hit or something it sends me into the other wall. So uh, what I learned there was obviously you hit a puddle and you are a passenger. Having said that, the wheel issue is, may not be tied to the puddles. I, I'm, I'm making another video just start looking at the wheel and the opposite lock issue which I've encountered in the last two Forza games, which also applies to that. But when you do hit the puddles, the car becomes very unstable. And normally Brands Hatch, I would, in my experience, has always been closed uh, during this much standing water be simply because it's so dangerous and unpredictable when you go through these puddles high speed it's very tricky indeed and working my way around nice spray effects from the water I could do with a bit more spray I think from the other cars given the level of conditions here but by the way oh, catching the wheel spin there as I went through the puddle on the inside I was taking the racing line uh, and can see how it affected me here another puddle under the bridge here I can see that coming so a little lift see how it affected the car as well into this final corner and of course got a camber so the water will be rolling across to the right so I'll be avoiding the right hand side and you'll see a puddle there don't want to be hitting that at speed so lots to learn on this first run this was the first run of two uh, so I had a practice run just to see what the water conditions were like and now uh, I run it again and this is now aiming to do a clean run nobody managed a clean run during the day when I was there so it was nice to get the chance to put one in now so I learned from the first run where the puddles were how they affected the car uh, a rough idea on how to approach them I think that's the difference between dynamic and, and sort of set weather is once you learn where the puddles are and you learn which puddles you can go through flat out the, the challenge of wet weather drops considerably uh, whereas when you have dynamic and you you see these puddles for the first time and you don't know how deep they are uh, that's when there's a real challenge there because there's more risk reward in that sense in terms of the dynamic side but either way from a visual perspective Turn 10 have done an amazing job on Xbox One uh, they're bringing it together piece by piece as I work my way around there a bit quicker this time learned a bit more about how to turn into some of these corners obviously taking a wider line through a couple of corners here and there you'll see but um, this is a down, the water would run downhill here so it's okay around there but I'm now aware of this upcoming puddle that sent me off before so I'll be lifting or avoiding it ever so slightly there that's it, didn't hit it full on this time closing on the car in front and you're just trying to carry some speed but obviously aware of the fact the conditions are that there is no grip so you know if you will fly off the circuit if you you aren't careful there is a puddle on the inside here as well but again just a bit of lifting I'm taking it very slowly trying to keep the car as straight as possible on the exit puddle at the bottom of the hill taking a bit more risk here Hitting it harder that's it going through and now fast couple of corners I'm going to uh, find a couple of corners coming up I'll avoid the inside line this time knowing that the water's on the inside see if I can carry some speed around the outside turned out to be quite challenging just keeping the car on the outside because it understeered so much in the conditions but either way made it around there so it will show the different lines you need and you'll need to test those in terms of whatever works best but uh, a learning experience some more to talk about when I look at the handling in another video in more detail we're going to complete this run that was Brands Hatch in the wet more thoughts or action from me very soon